how to use Feedly as a beginner. Feedly will help you create your RSS based content right here and you can integrate any website of your choice and create awesome content on Feedly. So let's start. So guys, after the initial setup, once you log into your Feedly, this is what the dashboard of Feedly looks like. And you can create your RSS based feed right here. Now you can see there are different contents given here that I will go through in the video. So on Feedly, the contents are known as feeds. So you can see that I have created two feeds right now. One is medical education related and other is technology as it's related to my profession and you can create any feed you want to. All you have to do is create new feed right here. Click on this and you're going to give your new feed a name. For example, right now I want to create a feed for photography. Okay, and save. Once you do that, now a feed of yours named as photography will be created. So as you can see right here, now I have a new feed called photography. Add content. Click right here. Now you can see there are three ways you can actually add content in any of your feed. You can see there is search by topic, website or RSS link. So let's go to RSS link first. Now, what you have to do is just go to your any of your website. Now, I have created a feed which is called photography. So I will go to any of the websites and get their RSS link. So you're just going to go to any of the website. I'm right here for my photography feed. So this is the website I got. Now, I'm going to tell you how you can find RSS link for this. All you have to do is right click on your page and you will see an option for a view page source. Click right here and you will see right here this is the page source for the website. Now I'm gonna search so you're gonna go ahead and press Control plus F and it will give you a search link. On search link just type RSS and you will see that right here this is the RS of the website in the inverted commas. This way you can find the RSS of any website. So now what you have to do is just copy this link right here and paste it onto your Feedly right here and enter. You will see that they have opened that website for me. 42 West, look right here. This is the website that I have gotten the link of RSS. Now I can simply follow them and you can see there are options for my feeds and I'm going to add this to my photography feed. Once you do that, you'll see that you will start following this feed right here. It's added into your feed. Look how easy it is to get an RSS feed right here. After that, guys, let me show you how you can add content to websites. I showed you how to do that with RSS link. Now we're going to go with website. So you can just go to any of the website. For example, I'm right here for my medical related topic. So you're just going to go ahead and copy the simple URL of that website. Copy and paste right here. Once you do that, you will be able to see that the website I just copied came here and I can simply follow that and I'm going to add to my medical education related feed. So I'm going to add it right here. So you can just simply go ahead and copy any of the URL of the website you want to follow and add it to your related feed. After that, there is an option for it topic you can just go ahead and search by any topic and you can see that there are many options also given like featured topics if you click on any of these you will see millions of websites and articles on these topics there are different topics that they are suggesting and there are different skills that you can follow and there are trends that you can follow right here and add them into your feed now, these were the three options how you can add different content to your website. Now, there is also an option of create a board. Let me show you that. You click on create a board and you create different boards of your choice. Let's just say I create a board for health and wellness. And in the description, I'm just going to write. So in the description, I have added health and wellness related content. 
now i don't want this board to be public but if you want it to be public you can simply click on yes and then create this board now you will see i have created a new board for health and wellness and i can add different articles and websites into this particular topic you can see guys my board for health and wellness has been created now how can i add an article right here in this so you can simply there are actually different ways to add topics right here so guys you can see that my health and wellness board has been created i can add here any article i want to and i can extract any of the different content that i want to into this particular board and there are many ways to do that one of the way is add article right here and you can copy the url i'm just going to show you again it's related to health and wellness just go with this website again you can just go to any website and copy and paste the url now that particular article will be attached to this board save to board and you can see that the article has been attached to this you can actually go ahead and give any layout to this i'm gonna go with cards view you can see right here this is how the article will look you can choose any of the view you want to i'm going with cards view now this is what my board will look like now there is another way to add any article you see on feedly to your particular board let me show you that if i go to right here you can see that okay let's just go with this so guys i have opened this article right here from my medical education feed and you can see there is a option to save to boards you just click on this and it will be saved to my board by just one click you can save any article you see on feedly you're just scrolling down you're just exploring and you like something you want to add to your board you can simply go ahead and add if you want to create a new board you can create it right then and there for example i do not have a board for digital learning so i can just go ahead and create a board for digital learning in medical education and create the board and add that article right there so this was about the boards now there is an option for today if i click on here you will see the people and the pages the articles i follow they all will appear right here in my today's feed if i want to explore i can go ahead and explore more and this is me i mean the feeds that i follow right here so whenever you see any article related to your feed you can go ahead and save it to read later for example i i, I want to read this reach out campaign for better mental health later so i'm just gonna add it to read later now this article has been added to my read later and i can save it to any void or i can mark as red after that i can mark this also as red now when you mark something as red that means that it will not appear again like you have notified that yes i have read it after that there is a read later list that you see right here you will see all the articles that you had marked as read later the one that i did i just did and you will see all of the articles that you have not read yet will appear here then there is a trend leo option this is for the upgrade i would say because here you can get all of the other features of feedly so this is a meet leo he is kind of like it is not he so meet train leo this is just your research assistant you would say feedly actually provides you a assistant that will help you create an awesome feed and it will filter and it will organize your feeds right here then there is feeds option that i have explained and boards after that let me give you a tour to this you have seen that this option gets you to new sources right here and this is a power search you can search anything you want to and then there is a switch between themes option you just click right here switches into the dark mode i prefer actually dark mode mostly but you can go ahead and choose the mode of your choice and there are new features here which will be notified here whenever feedly offers a new feature and then there is a learn and get support option 
Okay, guys, let me tell you this also that you can actually share any of your feed to your Twitter feeds, Reddit feeds and newsletters. There are always options whenever you click on any of the feed and article, there is an option for you to share it to other websites as well. Now, if you go to right here and this is where you will see your profile, there is a settings option and in settings, you can actually manage your Feedly account very efficiently like for example there is a general setting option like always then there is an appearance option that we actually just saw and then saving and sharing where you can actually save different content and where you want to save it and where you want to share it you can add any of the website you want to you can just click right here and it will be added to your share option and you can customize any of the settings you want to then there is integration option. You can see that it can be integrated with Dropbox, Evernote, OneNote and different other options. It's amazing guys. Feedly actually offers many cool features and it brings the internet to you. It brings everything to you by just one click. Then there is your profile option and where you can customize your profile so guys this was Feedly. i hope i was a big help to you if you're using Feedly as a beginner and Feedly will help you create an awesome rss feed of your choice you can create anything whatever you want to and yeah i will see you in the next video Bye.